Measuring a TV may seem pretty simple, but it can actually be trickier than you think. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to accurately measure a TV screen and give you a few tips on choosing the right size TV, how far away you should sit from the TV, and show you a couple other measurements to be aware of, especially if you're wall mounting. Hi, I'm Caleb Dennison, and believe it or not, I hear stories all the time of folks buying a TV only to find out it won't fit where they want to put it. So then there's the whole hassle of returning it and trying it again. It can be a pain. I also get a lot of questions about getting the right screen size in general, so we're going to talk about that. But before I get into it, I want to know, what do you think is the perfect screen size for you? Leave me a comment about that, and if you like this video, please click like so we can share this helpful info with more people. Subscribe if you like what you see, and also I've got links to some products in the description to make setting up a TV a little easier. Okay, let's get to it. First, the basics. When you see screen sizes listed on a TV's box or online, that measurement is from one corner of the screen itself to the opposing corner. And often you'll find it's actually just shy of the claimed size. For instance, this 70 inch TV actually comes in at just shy of 69 and a half inches. I mention this because when it comes to sizing up a TV to see if it will fit on your media stand, a credenza, in a cabinet, or on your wall, the screen size measurement doesn't do anything for you. When sizing up a TV, you want to look at a few key measurements. On most product pages online, in the spec section, manufacturers will list the TV's height, width, and depth, both with and without a TV's stand or legs. Take this TV, for example. Its depth is altered by its feet in that they extend in front of and behind the TV's cabinet. In some cases, a TV's feet may actually increase the width too. This is important for determining if the TV is gonna fit in the space you wanna put it. It may be that you want that 70 inch model, but it just won't fit. So you'll need to step down to the 65 inch model. Because keep in mind, even though you're only losing five inches diagonally in this case, the entire size of the TV scales down quite a bit. The other reason I suggest looking at the full dimensions of a TV is that bezel size varies. And if you're already tight on space, you don't wanna assume that you can just squeeze that 65 inch model in if it looks like you have just about 65 inches. Some TVs have no bezels at all, and some add a few inches to the overall size of the TV cabinet. For wall mounting, well, that's a whole different topic that involves a lot of measuring, which is why we created a separate video for that topic. Now, the other measurement to keep in mind is the distance from which you'll sit from the TV. This can have an impact on the size of TV you'll want to get. Generally speaking, the further away you will be from the TV, the larger screen size you may want. The inverse can also be true. If you sit super close, it is possible to get a TV so large that it doesn't fit in your field of vision, and that's actually not great. Human vision has a field of view of about 200 degrees, so I like to use this rule of thumb. Divide your viewing distance in inches, that's from your eyes to the TV screen, by 1.6. You can also use an online calculator if you like. For example, if you sit eight feet from your TV, that's 96 inches divided by 1.6, for 60. So a 60 inch TV would be ideal, but you could go a little larger or smaller than that. And that brings me to another important point. You may have to, at some point, decide which is more important, screen size or picture quality. It comes down to your budget. And getting the biggest screen at your budget may not be as satisfying as getting the best picture quality at your budget. I'll let you decide, but keep that in mind if you're shopping for a new TV. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this has been helpful. A friendly reminder to click the like button if you found this video helpful. Subscribe for more great content like this. And here's two other videos I think you'll like.